the most successful entrepreneurs do these few things and it's not what you think it's going to be. After I changed these three things in my business, I started to see more engagement. People started to interact more with me and they started to leave more comments and it made a world of difference. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Mario. I'm a naval engineer turned podcaster, author of two books, one of which is The Blueprint to Building Your Online Empire and course creator for the Online Business Startup University. Now, most people think that you need to focus on views, subscribers, and that kind of thing. Thumbnails, titles. There are a lot of things that could contribute to the success or failure of your content. But what most people don't know is that these are just symptoms of success or what makes a successful content strategy. But there are three other things that people don't talk about and these are the root causes of what causes people to be successful in their content. And when you work on these three things inside your business, it's going to help you transform the way a lot of people think about their business and change a lot of people's lives. Remember that attention is currency in today's marketplace. And if you can gain attention, if you can grab attention, then you'll be ahead of the game. So how do we grab people's attention? The first thing I changed in my business was that I tried to become a better storyteller. Now, whenever I'm trying to get better at something, I'll start to do Google searches and see who's the best in these categories of storytelling. And just a couple of names that I found when I was researching how to become a better storyteller, Alex Gatoni, Donald Miller, Laura Belgrade, Alicia Hurd, Myron Golden, Russell Brunson. These are just a few people who, when you start to look at how they tell stories and you start to model some of what they're doing, you can see what makes their content so successful. The second tip is to embrace the thing we all love to hate, and that is sales and marketing. For example, when I wrote my first book, not this book, it was a relationship book. I didn't have much experience and I just wanted to get the book out. I later found out that once you write the book, people will not come. You have to market it <laughs> and you have to promote it. I did not sell a lot of copies of that book except for friends and family. But what it showed me was that you have to become very good at, at marketing and sales and promotion. So this was the second thing that I tried to improve my business and some of the names that come up when I was doing my research Russell Brunson, Myron Golden, Jeremy Miner, Dan Kennedy and I would just sit there and dive into their content for hours until I started to get better at these things and I'm still diving into to more information more research trying to learn how I can be better. The third thing that I did in my business that helped me see a significant increase was to become a better communicator. So I started looking into some Google searches and some YouTube searches. And obviously John Maxwell is at the top of that list as far as communication. And there are some other people too, but communication and storytelling together are a dynamic duo. And together they make a great combination so you, that you can improve in engagement and in interaction with your brand. And just think about it. If you improve in communication and you improve in storytelling, Think about what that will do for your emails. Think about what that will do when you talk to your spouse. Think about what that will do in your copy, in your sales page, sales pages, landing pages, in your videos. Anytime you're asking people to do something, you are selling. If you're asking them to give you an email address, you're asking for their time. You're asking for their attention. When you ask your wife to make you a sandwich <laughs> or you ask her to make you something to eat, you're selling her. You're you're trying to make an offer to get her to do something for you. Ladies, when you petition your husband to take out the trash that's been sitting there for a couple of days, you're you're selling. <laughs> well, that, that might not be selling. That, that's more like demand. <laughs> Demanding to take out the trash. That's probably that's probably more telling than selling. We all want to be better entrepreneurs in life, and that requires us to take a step in the right direction. There's a process that you can use to create that type of life. So if you're interested in becoming a better entrepreneur, a better storyteller, a better communicator, and you wanna grow your idea that you have online, then the plan to do that is inside this book. You can go to bit.ly forward slash coach biz and you can get a free copy and start to apply some of those methods in your online business. Now is the best time to be an entrepreneur because there's so many tools that make what you have to do 
for your business very easy. Tools that did not exist just a few years ago. And so now is the best time for you to turn that idea into a business. And today I'm amazed at how fast you can get things done with AI and some of these other tools. If you want to learn how to fast track your online business with three proven steps, I created this masterclass. It's about 40 minutes long. You should go watch that video. It's a masterclass that can help you move the needle in your business, especially if you're starting out. If you're a beginner entrepreneur, there's going to be a lot of things that give you some structure and tell you what to do next and how to get to the next level. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and make sure you check that video out. That masterclass is going to give you some ideas on where you can start. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, blessings, and prosperity.